Hey everybody, this is going to be a fun, fun project using uh, an old piece of wood with no features whatsoever and an old piece of uh, jeans that saw better days in their life. And I'm going to use on this project a few techniques um, and watch it. It's coming in, in stages. And the first one that I'm going to show you is that I can be also a tailor. Now I can work as a tailor. Let's cut and sew and use some wood and use some fun. So basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting a few strips of um, jeans um, and I'm going to use them. I'm going to use four. I'm going to make four of them and I'm going to roll them tight, tight, tight. And I'm going to plug them into the holes that I saw that I made before. Now those holes, I didn't have to explain what I done over there. Uh, simple, mark them, uh, drill, uh, drill um, with the force in a bit, and it's easy. Now I'm creating the jeans. I just check the sizes, and I'm going to create the, the strips to go into the wood mold. Uh, in some places, I doubled, doubled it to try to get a different feature. <coughs> it wasn't a good idea. You'll see later why, but it's not so bad. Now I'm cutting it, the, the excess one I have to cut down and I'm cutting it with a, oh, when I cut, and now I'm also a barber, you see, I'm cutting the hairs off. I'm also a barber. I was worried when I was cutting it with a knife, you know, you know me, I, I, I like to cut myself easy, so this time I didn't. I mark the place of each roll that sits inside properly and then I put a marking on the roll so it will go to the same place, exactly the same, but in, in a second thought, the holes are exactly the same holes and the rolls are exactly the same rolls. That was a, that was another thing that I didn't have to do. And now I'm going to put a, a plastic guard and above. So I'm creating a vessel now so I can put the resin in. First of all, you're asking yourself, what's this white stuff that it's sitting on? That's my vacuum chamber that I made. Uh, and now I'm putting uh, resin into the holes and I'm going to push in the, um, the jeans. Now, why, why the vacuum chamber? Because I'm trying to um, put it under vacuum and remove the air from the jeans and replace it with, uh, with resin. Um, I can't do it for long because it's, it, otherwise the, the resin will, uh, will start setting. So I've got a half an hour uh, window on this resin. And um, what, what you do is you, you put a vacuum and then um, after a while you release the vacuum and all the air bubbles that came out will be replaced with, um, with resin. The only thing you have to do is you have to cover the whole thing with resin. So if when it when the vacuum goes out and the pressure goes back again, it will be able to um, to get it in. And I can't go to the maximum vacuum in this one is for one reason only uh, it can start bubbling. Now uh, what I want you to see is now you'll we'll see we're doing some bub we have some bubbles, and that's when we're putting the vacuum. And as the I release the pressure, I release sorry I release the vacuum, the the pressure comes back again. And it pushes all the resin into the place where it used to be bubbles. Basically, what I do is I impregnate the, the jeans and the, the cracks in the wood with resin. And now you'll see I'll, I'll remove just now. I'll, I'll, I'll stop the vacuum and it will start sitting down. You see, here it is. It fills up. Now I'll have to fill it up again and do it again. And uh, here, that's what I'm doing. Uh, don't go too high because if you, if you go too high on the vacuum and too long, it will start bubbling. For a double measure, I put it in a in a pressure pot, and that's the next two days actually afterwards. Um, now those pieces of uh, jeans that you see outside uh, are hard like a rock, so you have to be careful. I had to be careful not to cut my fingers and just be careful. 
And now I'm just squaring it down and look at it. That's the pattern of the jeans. Don't you think it's beautiful? It's nice? I think so. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see and I'm going to put to test the black line tools of a combination of wood and resin and how is it going to react with the with the jeans. Let's see. I think it mastered it quite good. Yeah, no problem. No tears. Now I'm, I'm scoring it down till I get to the to the res to I get to the to the jeans and now as I go to the jeans I want to go to 50 to the size of almost to be to be identical 50% of that 50% of of the wood and now slowly slowly I start creating the shape and now I discover I've got a problem in one of them um, in the center it did not picked up the, the resin so what I'm going to do I'm going to do CA to the rescue and after the after about an hour when the CA was totally totally dry I try to see if it will if it will work and um, or do I have to put resin again and no, it works perfectly the the CA worked and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the um, the hole where the the candlelight hold the candlelight holder will sit in because I don't want the candle to sit into the wood so I've got like a holder for it and that's what I'm going to do now On this one, I'm going to go from 180 all the way to uh, 600 and uh, no no polish and you will see just now why no polish, no Yorkshire grid, no nothing, just sandpapering and then just taking alcohol and clean everything properly. Now I turn it around and I'm going to use and I'm going to do the, the base of the and the same time that I'm doing the base, I'm going to do also the shape. I change. I decided to change a little bit the shape um, and give it a little bit of a more roundish and more with a with a with a bigger leg or with a deeper leg. So it will be like a leg sitting. It's like a donut sitting on a leg, um, and that's that's the shape that I wanted to create. As usual, using formica to get the, to burn in the the color the wood. Now you're going to ask yourself, what the hell is he doing here? What is he creating? Because it doesn't look like a lid and it doesn't look like a leg. So I'm going to uh, put on the on the candlelight holder, I'm going to put resin on top of it. It's my, that will be my um, finish. Uh, and then I didn't want it to put it in a chuck, so I created two, uh, I made two uh, cones and it will sit on that because it's a very low speed and it will be, it will be easier to put the, the resin on top of it and I'm, I'm going to put it all over in one shot this way. You see, I put a rubber guard around the, the leg so it's not going to scratch. And now I'm going to use um, water sandpaper, water pet sandpaper, 
just to flat down a little bit the, the resin, not too much. I don't want to take off the whole resin. I just want to smooth it down. And then what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to use um, um, Novas 2.3 and I'm going to polish it out. Now you can see already the shine that comes out after the um, uh, Nova Street 2. You can see, look at the shine. And that's my project. I hope you like it. Um, if you do like it, don't forget at the bottom, if you're new at the bottom on the right side, there is a subscribe button. Subscribe. On the left side opposite, there is a place to put comments. Put some comments. If you like it, if you don't like it, thumbs up, thumbs down. And I will see you in my next project. And I hope you like this one. Cheers.